Hi again, this is Nate with Keysoft Solutions. Today's getting started video is going to cover Auto Stripe for AutoCAD and specifically parking. The parking tool in Auto Stripe really focuses on parallel parking spots along streets. It's not really designed for, say, um, parking bays in a, in a commercial shopping center or that sort of um, usage. It's more of a, a roadway tool. It's really powerful though, it's dynamic, you can adjust it, and uh, it meets MUTCD standards as well. So let's do a very simple uh, line of parking bays. Okay, to, the first demonstration I'd like to do is uh, just the line of parking bays using this tool. We can use the existing ply lines I've already have in this drawing, or I can draw from scratch if I'd like, but usually this operation works best by picking a polyline. I'm gonna pick a curb line that works for this one. I'm going to pick a start point and an ending point along that polyline. And I'm going to pick the side of the polyline I want the parking spots to be drawn. And there we go. We can adjust these uh, but once I select them but with the uh, grips here. And it's going to automatically adjust as I go up and down, resizing those um, as I specified earlier. So there we go. If we make it a base smaller, it's going to go ahead and chop that one off. And I can adjust it further there. I can also double click on it like any object in Auto Stripe, and I can adjust the values with absolute numbers here. So maybe we want our base to only be 18 foot long and maybe 10 foot wide. It automatically adjusts that entire line very much speeding up the revision process when those kind of adjustments need to be made. Let's erase that and let's look at another parking style. The corner marks, again I'm going to pick a line. and Let's find a different curb line to pick this time. Here we go, let's do this one. Again I'm going to pick a start point and an end point and a direction, what side of the curb to place them on. And here we go. It has done that for me, and it has um, automatically generated those to a default. But of course, I can adjust these as I see fit. If I drew this wrong, I could even flip them to the other side of the curb. And the first bay length I can set as a, um, a different value if I need to, or I can keep them all a uniform 24 feet. Again, this is really powerful when it comes to revisions. Um, if something is uh, if a standard changes or if something needs to be um, modified after field conditions change, um, it's really quick to do so rather than redrafting all of these from scratch. The other parking bay tools work very much the same way. And there's a few symbols in here as well, such as the, uh, the handicap symbol. That's a quick overview of how parking works in AutoStripe. Please tune in next time when we will cover another of the basic features of AutoStripe. Thank you.